and off. What was that? Uh, Aston, Aston Martin. Martin yeah. There, you see, it wasn't. It wasn't. That, in fact, let's get it up again. That is the new Mondeo. Is it? No, it's actually... Oh, was it done by a Chinese person? No, it was <laughs> <laughs> No, but let me... Yeah. And the other thing as well is, it's made in Canada. Who in Canada could do... Are you Canadian? Whatever happens in Canada that would cause somebody to shoot at somebody else for 24 hours? <laughs> but they say that it's bionic because it looks like the fish. If you're going to buy one of these, and it's not for production yet, uh, it's a car, obviously, that looks like a fish. So if you live in Cornwall, uh, don't leave it on the street because a Spanish person will nick it. <laughs> um, <laughs> the um, leading bid at the moment is from an Egyptian consortium. Carpets will be nice. <laughs> Really, really elaborate. <laughs> really elaborate. Yeah, and buying one's going to be interesting. We go down to my brother's Abdul Martin <laughs> shop. <laughs> For you, my friend. <laughs> I make a nice special price. Special price. <laughs> <laughs> only. Something of a record, actually, because we are the first three British men ever to come here for a weekend and not vomit on a prostitute. <laughs> uh, actually, we love coming to uh, Holland, James, for his, for his own reasons. <laughs> Uh, and I like it because the Dutch are officially the tallest people on earth. It's true, true fact. Yes, and I hate it here. I'm sick of, <laughs> sick of staring at belly buttons all day. Have we got any Scottish people here? Yes, sir. Would you like to just step outside just for the next few minutes? <laughs> Please. A bit of a chat. It's about Scottish independence. It's just that yeah. we've heard a lot of talk in recent weeks about what Scotland would lose if you choose to go uh, on your own. But nobody's talking about what England would lose. And it is actually quite a lot because we'd lose North Sea Oil, uh, the sub base at Fast Lane, all tramps. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, have a look at this. This is uh, an electronic device. It's called the Quick Start. It costs £9.99. Um, you stick it in your cigarette lighter when you're driving in France. And when you turn the car on in the morning, its little electronic voice reminds you to drive on the right. That might be useful if you're Reasonable. a bit thick. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a complete waste of £9.99. When you get up in the morning, all your luggage has been stolen from the boot and your car's just a burnt-out shell, you'll know you're in France anyway, so why do you... <laughs> it's not true, you don't need it. It's a fair point. OK, well, now, listen, if you know someone who's more... Mental? More committed, yeah. shall we say, to the world of cars, write to us, please, at, uh, what should we call it this week? I know, uh, the only thing my ex-husband would service was his car. <laughs> BBC Television, Wood Lane, London, Jethu. Uh, now, I've thought about that. Volunteers. That's the answer. So, if you'd like to help us out, write to us at I'm retired and I'd like to shoot a yellow box blocker in the face at BBC Top Gear London W12. And please do not write to us about drinking and driving because I'm not driving, I'm saving. It's multicultural. If you do have a problem, write to us at Jonathan Ross, ITV. <laughs> um, uh, no, really, I do want to see more votes for the Doobie Brothers yeah, rocking in this week. Vote for the vote for something more recent than that. Um, to vote, please just go to the website, which is BBC. Do, do not vote for any of this stuff. <laughs> Be save me from these people. BBC.co.uk forward slash Top Gear. Right, enough of this pop nonsense. <laughs> If you know of anything uglier than that, you should write to us at, um, I live next door to David Guest. <laughs> Talk here. <laughs> hey, now. So, if you have got that or any other idea for our Bond car, write to us here at, um, I've got a really good idea for your Bond car mm. on the cheap. BBC Top Gear, um, White City, 201, 201 Wood Lane, Wood Lane w London. W12 7TS. Or... You can visit the website on the internet. Or text messages. Now, that's the saddest looking spectacle I've ever seen. Rubbish. And it's your fault. If you're from the RSPCA, write to us at James May is a bastard, Top Gear, London. <laughs> We've got two new challenges. We're looking for Britain's fastest lord, and we're looking for Britain's fastest white van driver. <laughs> no, really. So, if you're drinking the Duke of Cumberland or you are the Duke of Cumberland, get in touch. Usual address, BBC, Top Gear, Wood Lane, all of Wood Lane, basically, London, W12, all of W12, all flagged down on internet. 
this has become like a new mystery. It's like a Yeti. So if maybe somebody's seen him. If you have seen Jeremy on his bicycle, write to us, please, at help, I've burst from laughing. <laughs> Top gear, Wood Lane, wherever. I don't believe... Now, if you're a grandmother and you have to prove you have grandchildren and you think that with a bit of tuition you could do that, drop us a line. Uh, the address is, I'm a grandmother and I want to do a donut. Top Gear, BBC Television, Wood Lane, London, W12, 70S, or you can look on our website, which is on an internet. Somewhere. Somewhere. Right. He's dead. He's dead. Um, yeah. So if you do, uh, if you fancy a job on Top Gear, write to us. It's, I'm an unbelievably dreary pedant. Um, Top Gear. <laughs> Um, what just you? Uh, right, right, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just let everything go relax. Right at, um, I'm quite sorry to hear James is dead, but can I have his job, please? Care of. Yes, I think, yeah. just mark your envelope, as I said. So, good. So, um, she could be dead. Well, there's a police car at the scene of the accident, so... But if he is dead and you fancy a job on Top Gear, why not write to us at I'm better than Richard Hammond was. I may have... I've overcooked that a bit. BBC Wood Lane London W1270S. Because if you do, why don't you drop us a line? We are looking for the biggest car bore in Britain. And the address is, what should we have? I know a car bore and I've enclosed his name. Top Gear, BBC London W1270S. Or if you live near an internet, you could contact us on that. Or uh, if you've got one of those wireless telephones, uh, text messages. The thing is, uh, if you've been caught, because we genuinely don't believe anyone in the world has, but if you have been caught, <laughs> caught speeding at a speed less than 37, do honestly please write to us and let us know. Because we don't think it's possible. Uh, and mark your envelope, um, I'm a tortoise. <laughs> and that is all we... You really have managed to make a petrol-powered car do nearly 60 miles to the gallon. You have actually saved the Western world from economic collapse, and I think you should come on Top Gear and explain just how you did it, because that's incredible. Uh, so write to us, please. BBC uh, Television. One million, Wood Lane. <laughs> London uh, W, 12,000 trillion, infinity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a bigger postcode than you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what the Earth looks like from space. <laughs> <laughs> If you know someone, or if you think you might be Britain's biggest car bore, drop us a line at, uh, what is it, Top Gear, BBC Television Centre, no it isn't, why it's London, W1270S, or if you live near an internet, get us, uh, get us on that, pop in. pop in, or if you've got a wireless telephone, <laughs> send us a text message. A technological genius. I'm, t I'm not good on these things, I don't do, te my phone doesn't have texting on it. Uh. I get messages of <laughs> you, Clarkson. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> now, we get loads of uh, letters on this show, very angry ones from people who say that w we don't do enough um, affordable cars, you know, family cars. One particularly angry caller last week rang the BBC duty log saying we were a disgrace. Well, Mr Needham, check this out. That is the new Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> and uh, moving on now... <laughs> uh, we had a number of people after last week's show got in touch to complain. They did. We had, well, I said something about a Muslim, okay? Two complaints. You remember Jesus came last week? I he talked did. to him. <laughs> Three complaints. We were slightly rude about caravans. Yeah, we sort of set one on fire a bit. 150 complaints. <laughs> Seriously. 150, and lots of people are now demanding an apology. They are. So, um, we really are sorry, and we promise that we will, all three of us, never ever go caravanning again. No, 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 I'm sorry we didn't burn more caravans. You're right, so am I. Yeah, that's true. Right, there's the, you know we accidentally lit pipes last week? A bit. A hysterical woman who runs some hysterical organisation, has got thin lips, the sort who take their own lunch to work, you know the sort? <laughs> She got in touch and she pointed out, having demanded an apology from the BBC, she pointed out that you can't smoke anything now in the studio, anything. It doesn't matter if it's herbal, it doesn't matter if it's tobacco, you're not allowed to... Which means it is now illegal to inhale the Mayor of London if he's on fire. Oh, in here. that's blown it. Um, what is interesting, however, is that the number of people who rang up and complained about me driving the Land Rover Discovery up a mountain is this long. That's a lot. That's how many people complained. The number of people who complained about us not wearing poppies? That's no. <laughs> no, no not at all. 
one. Right. So hang on, that means nobody bothered to complain that we haven't commemorated our fallen soldiers, the people who gave us freedom to do what we want, yeah. but then they write in to complain that you've, what, run over some moss? Yeah, or that's basically it. It's a weird I've world. killed moss. <laughs> it's a strange world we live in, isn't it? Really? Weirdest world in the world. In fact, I think I might drive up it again next week. <laughs> uh, right, new. We've got to rid the world this is... of this evil. Please. Really, please do that for us. Vote over the next week. Um, you can write to us. It's B Top Gear, BBC, 201 Wood Lane, W12... London. Uh, London, W12, yeah. something, something or other. Uh, or you can go to the website, of course, bbc.co.uk forward slash Top Gear. Vote for anything but meatloaf. That's all one word. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you just click on vote for anything but meatloaf. Please, we're doomed. And then yesterday, from, I think it's America, check this one out. Look at that! <laughs> One day, somebody is going to drive up that thing and they'll get a big surprise. So, listen, if you've got a really stupid exhaust on your car, write to us at, um, I've inadvertently reversed into a cooling tower at bbc.london.england, something or other. Wherever. Now, while... It is a good question, though. I mean, what are yobbos going to drive? I don't know. Well, if you are a yobbo and you have a suggestion, uh, write it down on a note, attach it to a brick and throw it through our window <laughs> at uh, 201 Wood Lane, London W, wherever we are, 12. Hammond, tumbling end over end. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Bernie, if you like this idea and you want to take us up on it, write to us at, well, you've got more viewers than us anyway. <laughs> Top Gear. Uh, now, anyone here, can I just say, I want to have a competition on this. If anybody can find a bigger piece of bird dirt than oh, that on God. their car, take a photograph and send it to us at uh, Top Gear London, where are we, 7... W... W1270S. Mark your envelope. You really are plumbing new debts this week. <laughs> well, you are. What would be the best sports car, convertible, if you've got a bit of a Charlton going on there? That's a good question. So we are looking for volunteers. <laughs> If you've got a coma and you'd like to know which sports car's best, get in touch with us, please. And I'm being serious, no silly addresses, BBC Top Gear. 201 Wood Lane, London, W1270S. Mark your envelope, I've got a bit of a Charlton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, can I just say, the seats we used to have uh, were from a Vauxhall Senator. So if anybody out there is watching, they have a Vauxhall Senator. Well, hang on, you're going to say if you've got a Vauxhall Senator and you don't need the seats. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right to us, it's I've got a Vauxhall Senator and I drive everywhere standing up. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, BBC Television London, uh, wherever we are. Wood Lane. I love the way that James. No, really, thank you. And if anybody can be bothered to look on the internet and find uh, one that's more stupid than this, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, write to us at uh, I asked the RAC for a route to King's Lynn, and now I'm on the International Space Station. <laughs> uh, BBC uh, Top Gear 201, uh, Wood Lane, London, W1270. Yes. Yes. Oh, now, but they won't lend the Stig one. Um, so really, this is an appeal. If you've got a Veyron <laughs> and you'd like to lend it to us, we are prepared to pay anything up to £30. <laughs> <laughs> a job presenting Top Gear, the address is BBC <laughs> Wood Lane, London W127TS. Uh, now, we're going to find out. And if you want to write to the BBC and say this is some rare type of tree and has to be preserved, you can stick it up your arse. If anybody out there is watching who is a Roman emperor, who knows what <laughs> Boris is on about, do please write to us at... Uh, BBC Top Gear, uh, where are we? It'll be, it'll be I, I, no, it won't. It'll be I, I, blank, V11, Woodus Lane, Londinium, near Colchester, <laughs> W, X, Y, I, V11, T, S. Hey. <laughs> Drop us a line now. <laughs> Find out what Boris is going to do. It's styled by Ken, that makes it uncool. But I think we could solve this if maybe you are a Ken and you think you're cool. So write to us at... <laughs> there might be. I'm a... <laughs> well, send, us right. a I'm a... send us a photo of yourself being cool to I'm a Ken and I'm cool. Top Gear. Yeah. Wood Lane, London, W12. I don't know the rest. Something... Some 70S. 70S. 
Mm. So, you can see it's going to be a big debate, this, and that's what we're really hoping for. So, uh, do please write to us at uh, Top Gear, BBC Television, Wood Lane, London, W12. Or, of course, you can go onto our website, which is bbc.co.uk forward slash Top Gear. Do please let us know what your favourite driving song ever is. And I'll try and keep them away from it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, but uh, the idiot that did that to him. <laughs> Exactly. So if you are a caravanner and you do pull over to uh, let normal motorists go by, write to us at I'm a liar. <laughs> BBC yeah. Top Gear Wood Lane, London W12. Now we're not looking for I met my wife in a Morris Marina and can we do no, that up? Or, you know, if you've just been lazy and let it go to rot, that's your problem. And we are looking for really good stories like it was a getaway car or Stalin owned it or something like that or it was a yeah. one off. So do write to us at. Um, Oh, it's a rip-off, isn't it? So, I don't know, restoration rip-off. That's good. Uh, Top Gear BBC, Wood Lane, just London. down the corridor from restoration itself, in oh, fact. London, yes. W12. Yeah. Or go on your interweb. Yeah. Um, ever. You know. Which must make it the most unreliable car ever made. In fact, if you've got a more unreliable one, why don't you write to us at... Um, actually, I've got a Peugeot. Uh, BBC Top Gear. <laughs> 201 uh, Wood Lane, London, W12. There's a man with a Peugeot. <laughs> it's now time to... Sit rep. I've eaten my last pork pie and I've eaten all my sausage rolls. Night falling, I was back on the road, but not out of trouble. Sit rep. I didn't have a spare alternator belt, so I put a new battery in the boot, which now isn't being charged, which means I can't run with any electrical equipment on. No lights, no heater, nothing. Okay, sit rep. The uh, roll down the bank has caused a little bit of damage. The windscreen and side window are both now plastic, but the mighty Vauxhall Vectra engine is working well. Come on, grippy penis wheels. Sit rep. 300 miles to go, and I've been doing 16.4 miles to the gallon. Now I'm on the motorway. That's not bad. I mean, it's not a Prius, but it's not bad. Sit rep and it's not good. I mean, yes, I can't hear the rattling from the scissor lift anymore, but only because the roof is flapping like a bastard. And the steering's worryingly light. There's all the weight to the back. Also, the rear tires now never catch on the archers. Apart from then. And then. Right, sit rep. Right! <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, look at it. I've oh, got mate, I've got to have a look. Sit rep. The man arrived at the window, took 30 units of currency away, and I now have this hat. I don't believe you. Sit rep. Richard Hammond is a Go on. Go and meet your fate. Mm. Yep. Falling, the roads were getting worse, and there was another issue. Sit rep. James May does not like driving in the snow and has now reduced his speed to about three. James. Is your car giving the slightest indication it might go wrong? No. Situation update. Oil level and coolant temperature good. Everything working. Engine is as sweet as a nut. My karma is very good. Action! Our four cows had wandered off. Sit rep. We found four cows and we lost them. So, what chance would we have when we found 4,000? In fact, at this point, we all have the hammer down. Sit <laughs> <laughs> 
ramp. 51 miles to go. And about 30 miles of range. The morning light revealed our progress. Set wrap. Everything we tried in the night didn't work, but we have found peanuts. Rather embarrassingly, James then discovered something. Situation report. Hammond has caused a 10-hour delay to our schedule and is now killing a man. Oh, shit, sorry. A quick situation update. I'm driving through sunny Italy. Shut up! Bad news, James. I'm afraid there's a tunnel coming up. So, situation report, I have 128 miles to go, but everything's working. Uh, the road is very nice. Uh, phew, we're going to have to spin this out a bit. Situation update, viewers. Bit too close to the edge there. Um, I've got to be careful how I move, otherwise I'll fall into the valley. Still, could be worse. Situation report so far on the all-new Toyota Mirai. It's very, very pleasant, up to eight miles an hour. That is really not good. They're on the super fast train and they're now doing a hundred miles an hour more than I am. Sit rep. I'm gonna lose! Sit rep. Don't like driving my Citroen, don't like sleeping in my Citroen, almost certainly won't like cooking in it either. Plus, getting to the petrol station meant taking some back roads. Whoa! What the hell's that? The situation report. I've been rescued by a very helpful local man with his truck, still don't know his name, and he's lent me this um, arc welder to repair the shaft that drives the pump that makes the crane work. On the ocean waves, life was no longer so jolly. Right, the situation report is becoming very, very choppy, so we've had to reduce our speed by 10 knots or so. Which went well. Oh, my word.